Hello video creators, welcome to StoryShip. In this tutorial I will teach you how to create a loading bar with the percentage counter in Adobe Premiere Pro. Of course you can give this any color that you prefer and the speed can easily be adjusted. And you can slap this loading bar onto anything you like. Before we move over to Premiere, a quick message from the sponsor of this video, Envado Elements. It doesn't matter if you create videos for a living or just for a hobby, you need to know about Envado Elements. And that's because they offer millions of high quality assets for your video projects, all within one single subscription. And this includes stock video, music and sound effects, fonts, video animation templates and much more. I've got my own paid subscription for a couple of years now and I still visit the website multiple times a week for many of my projects. So I can highly recommend you to give it a try, please use the link in the description to check them out and also support my channel. Ok, it seems that the tutorial has finished loading, so let's have a look at the results. Inside Premiere we're going to start by adding a background and we're going to do this by creating a color mat. In the project panel click on the new items icon and then select color mat. You can accept the default settings and click OK. In the next screen you need to select a color, in this case I will enter the color code from the Storyshim logo and then click OK. And finally I will name this one background and then click OK. You can now find the color mat here in the project panel, you can drag this over to the timeline and extend duration. And for this example let's do something like 15 seconds. As I mentioned before this background is fully optional, you can slap the loading bar onto anything you like. In the next steps we're going to activate the rectangle tool which you can find here. Then inside the program monitor we're going to draw a rectangle like this. And then inside the essential graphics panel I'm going to center align the shape. Next I'm going to draw another rectangle on top of the other one and this one will be slightly bigger. And also here center align the shape by clicking on these two buttons. Then I'm going to disable the fill for this shape and enable the stroke. In this case 100 pixels for the first stroke. Then click on this plus icon here to add another stroke and I'll change the color into the green color of the first rectangle we created. Then increase the thickness of the stroke, something like 12 pixels will do. I want to add some rounded corners to this square so I'm going to click on this wrench icon and then select round join and round cap and then click OK. This will give the nice rounded corner on the edges as you can see here. Next I'm going to add some text, we'll activate the type tool by clicking here and then inside the program monitor click where you want to type. In this example I'm going to type loading, then hit the spacebar a couple of times to add some space and finish with the percentage sign. And also here in the essential graphics panel center align the text. Then I'm going to extend the duration for this text layer on the timeline and then for the next step make sure that it's deselected by clicking somewhere else in the timeline. For this next step I've prepared a simple notepad document with the numbers 0, 200 stacked on top of each other like this. I will copy the text by hitting Ctrl or Command C and then inside Premiere with the type tool enabled click somewhere in the program monitor. Then I will center the text first and change this into the green color of the first rectangle. And after that I can paste the text by hitting Ctrl or Command V. Now we can switch back to the selection tool by clicking here and then reposition the text. And here we want to center 0 between the loading text and the percentage sign. After that we're going to add another rectangle. We can also do this in the essential graphics panel, click on the new item icon and then select rectangle. For this one I will only enable the fill and then disable the stroke. And then I'm going to reposition the rectangle and I'm going to move this right on top of the counter like this. And then also resize it so it will only cover the numbers. That's perfect, now we can move over to the essential graphics panel and then select this option to mask with shape. Now the rectangle is a mask and it will only display the numbers that are behind the mask. As you can see this has also created a second graphics layer which we also need to extend on the timeline. And after that we can start animating the loading bar slider and counter. We're going to start with the slider on the second track. I'm going to move over to the effects panel and search for the crop effect. I will apply this to the graphics layer by dragging it over to the essential graphics panel and place this between shape 1 and shape 2. Placing it this way means that the crop effect will now only affect the shape below this effect, the green rectangle in the middle. Now make sure that the layer is selected on the timeline and then move over to the effect controls panel where we can start animating the slider by enabling keyframes for the right crop value. You can enable keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch icon. 
Then I will increase the percentage right until the point where the slider is complete, in this case 29%. Then skip a few frames back and increase it until the slider is invisible, and that is at 71% in this case. And this has now created the slide animation between the start and end keyframe. And you can make the animation go faster or slower by simply repositioning the keyframes. Next I will move the playhead on top of the first keyframe and then go to the other graphics layer containing the numbers. Then open up the text layer and scroll down to position and enable keyframes. This is the start of the counting, so the number is set to 0 below the loading bar. Now we can go back to the other layer, then move the playhead to the end keyframe and go back to the numbers. And then increase the position value until it displays hundreds below the loading bar. And with these two keyframes we've now created this percentage counter. And finally, to make this all a bit smoother, we're going to set the last keyframe to ease in and we're going to set the first one to ease out. And we'll do the same for the other two keyframes as well. Okay, perfect. Let's have a look at what we've created so far. In the final steps of this tutorial I've got some tips to stylize it all a bit more. Of course it's all a matter of taste but I like to add some vignetting to the background. To do this select the color mat and then go to the Lumetri color panel. In there go to the bottom to the vignette section and then increase the vignette. Not too much of course, keep it subtle, something like this. And another tip is adding an effect. In the effects panel I'm going to search for Venetian blinds. As you can see in Premiere 2021, you can find this in the obsolete folder, so I hope that this will also be available in future versions. Anyway, I'm going to apply this to the graphics layer containing the rectangle, and then inside the essential graphics panel I'm going to place this underneath the crop effect. Then make sure that the layer is selected and head over to the effect controls panel and in there we're going to play around with some values. I'm going to start by increasing transition completion, and then also increase the width of this effect. And as you can see here in the program monitor, now the loading bar has stripes. And finally, you could also rotate them by changing direction. That's it for this Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, then please like the video. That really helps me to grow my channel. And as always, I want to say thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.